win or uh, over Indonesia so it's not a route? Uh, I, well, it, the score may indicate it was a route, but uh, I give credit to Indonesia. They played well. They played hard. Um, but our philosophy is we're going to score runs. Uh, we like to swing the bat. We like to hit. And uh, we got guys that can hit. Um, they make good hard contact, and they can drive the ball to the gaps, uh, as evidenced today. Uh, we have guys that uh, up and down the lineup that can hit the ball uh, in the gaps, and uh, we're going to score a lot of runs. And our pitching was good. Uh, Romeo has been pitched five innings, threw up one, uh, gave up one run, and uh, we have good arms in the bullpen. You know, we we do it like Major League Baseball style. You know, we have guys that have uh, our starters will go five innings. Then we have guys in the sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth inning roles, and they're good at their roles. So. Uh, that's kind of our ingredient uh, for this tournament is have our starters go five or six innings and then we'll, we'll bring in our relievers and our hitters are going to be allowed to hit and swing the bat. Uh, we don't give them a take sign. You know, we let them be free. And, and uh, when you do that, a lot of runs are scored. What you know about the first inning where you almost had a home run? Yeah, I, that was a, there was a little bit of controversy there, but um, the umpire uh, made a judgment call. He thought the ball bounced. Uh, in front of the fence, and then it went over, which is a ground rule double. Obviously, we thought it was a home run. Everybody <laughs> said it was a home run, but uh, you can't appeal that play. It, it's an umpire's judgment call. So uh, he ended up scoring, and, and, and so it, it worked out uh, just as well. Even though he didn't get credit for a home run, he did he still get a double and did come around to score. What about starting a veteran like... Romeo has been, been that's why he's that, yeah, yeah that's why he's pitching uh, I love the veteran pitchers uh, we have June Mardiro uh, throwing tomorrow starting uh, I like pitchers that can throw strikes and, and Romeo has been has exemplified that throughout his international uh, baseball career mm -hmm. and uh, that's why we went with him uh, he'll start the championship game if we get there uh, I like veteran pitchers because they don't necessarily throw hard but they throw strikes and he does mm -hmm. Coach, about tomorrow's game? Uh, tomorrow game is it's going to be another uh, tough battle. Singapore, um, you know, they we played them earlier, uh, but they they they've gotten better. Like like Indonesia's gotten better, but um, we don't worry about our uh, our opponents. We just worry about ourselves. Um, if we swing the bat like we're capable of, we're going to score a lot of runs. And if our pitchers throw strikes, they're not going to give up any. So those are what we try to strive for each game in this tournament. And uh, that's our uh, that's how we operate, you know. Score a lot of runs, don't give up any. Yes, sir. How, how crucial was that uh, for that sixth run back in the first inning that uh, you guys were able to get at least one run in each inning? Uh, Very crucial. Uh, we, we, we teach our players, hey, we got to come out um, scoring a lot of runs early uh, because it, 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 you know, when you do that, it, it puts a little bit of pressure on the other team that they have to match what we did. And with our pitching staff, it's tough to do. Our pitchers, you know, they throw strikes. They get guys out. We have guys that can play good defense defensively. So if they give up a ground ball, uh, our guys can make the play. I think that was kind of the big difference today with Indonesia. Um, their shortstop had a tough time making plays. Our shortstop didn't. You know, Egon Devere is probably one of the best fielding shortstops in Asia. Uh, and so we're, we're, we're happy with um, uh, when we score a lot of runs. It makes our job easier. What can you say about the lay of the land? I mean, like Hong Kong uh, made a great start. Yeah, uh, we expect Hong Kong and Thailand to, to be the top teams in Group A. Uh, you know, that's kind of been the history of, of, of the East Asia Cup. Uh, we face those two teams uh, uh, on a regular basis. Uh, so we expect one of those uh, or both those in a super round. Uh, I think we're going to face them, uh, both teams in a super round, and we'll see what happens. In simple terms, how how can we go to the finals? Like how how many wins do we have to? Uh, we have to. Okay, so uh, we win tomorrow. We're in the super round, so uh, we have to win five games to be the champions. So two in our uh, preliminary rounds, two in the super round, and then the championship game. So five games total that we have to win. But we have to win the championship. Game yeah, first. so we could lose one technically in the Super Round as long as we're the, uh, the top two in the finals, you know. But uh, hey, I didn't come here to lose any games. We're not going to lose any games, you know. That's our goal. That's our mindset. All right. Okay. okay.